This is exactly what I started a YouTube channel for, to show off my addiction to productivity apps. Hey everybody, my name is Micah Gonzalez, M-I-C-A, Gonzalez with a Z, and I try productivity apps so that you don't have to. And in this video, I'm going to reveal six amazing apps that have just changed the way that I work on my Mac. So if you're wondering which ones are worth your money and why, then keep watching. Let's jump right into it with the first app called Session. For people who have been following me for any length of time, you probably know I sometimes use the Pomodoro technique for keeping productive and staying focused. Well, let me tell you right now, I just found an app that made me fall in love with this technique all over again. And yes, that app is called Session. Right out of the box, it looks like just another Pomodoro timer app, but when you dig in deep, you realize it's actually so much more. Unlike most Pomodoro timer apps that I've used in the past, Session lets you integrate with your calendars, so if you're also someone who can't live without their Google Calendar, then psh, prepare to get your mind blown. Session tracks your Pomodoros alongside your calendar, so if you're working in between meetings and events, then you can easily see when and how long you worked and on what. The app also combines some of my favorite features from other productivity apps, like the ability to block sites and apps to ensure ultra distraction-free working, as well as providing me detailed analytics about where I spend my Pomodoros. There's honestly so much about the app that I love, but the final thing I'll mention in this list is that it has the option to have you reflect on your session, so you can just jot down any thoughts, feelings, or even distractions you might have had while you worked. This feature probably isn't for everyone, but as an introvert that loves to self-reflect, then this feature was very much welcome. And the great news is that you can start using Session for free or upgrade to its pro plan for just $4.99 a month or $39.99 a year. Next on the list is Rocket Typist. I don't know about you, but there are a ton of things I type over and over and over again on my Mac. And instead of typing it manually, what if you could just key in a shortcut or an abbreviation, then have it automatically expand to exactly the text you want? That's exactly what I do with Rocket Typist, which makes it ultra quick and ultra convenient to type words, phrases, and even sentences that you keep on typing over and over anyway. For me, that's things like my very long email address, my phone number, my address for online shopping, of course, and even phrases and sentences that I might always include in certain emails. There are a bunch of features from Rocket Typist that I haven't really explored and frankly don't really know how to use, so I might really only be using about 50% of the app's true capabilities. Either way, even if I'm not using every single feature, just having these text shortcuts and abbreviations has saved me so much time and from so many mistakes of mistyping my email or my address, which Let's all admit we all kind of done at one point or another. In case you want to learn more, Rocket Typist is available for $9.99 as a one-time payment. And yes, I would absolutely pay for it over and over again. Third on my list is an app that makes it so easy and so awesome to take screenshots, screen recordings, and yes, even those little screen recordings with talking head videos. Welcome CleanShot X. CleanShot X takes whatever QuickTime does and makes it 10 times better. I love that I can do long screenshots of things like emails and web pages, create my own GIFs, and be able to record my screen without using expensive tools. Not to mention, I can do something like this. Hey, Internet! CleanShot also has some OCR capabilities, which if you're not that techy like me, basically means you can take a screenshot of an area of text from something like an image or a PDF, and it will recognize the characters and let you copy-paste it as text. Pretty handy. Some other features I appreciate, especially as far as screen recordings go, is the ability to trim the videos right away and upload them to the cloud for easy sharing and storage. As of recording, CleanShot X goes for $29 as a one-time payment for a year of support and updates, with the option to subscribe at $19 a year if you want to keep your app updated forever. And speaking of forever, I would love you forever if you gave this video a like, if you're getting any value out of it, and in case you're interested in more productivity app videos, then you might want to hit subscribe because this isn't the last time I'll be talking about them. Thank you very much, and now let's talk about the final three apps on this list. The next app that I absolutely cannot live without is Clean My Mac X. Exactly as the name suggests, it's an app that cleans my Mac. And in case you're wondering, yes, it absolutely is a productivity app. If my Mac is clean, it runs faster. If it runs faster, I'm just more productive. So that's that. To be more specific, Clean My Mac X optimizes your app using all these cool tools and features that I honestly wouldn't really know how to do myself on my Mac, from clearing your cache to your RAM, and a bunch of other things I honestly don't understand, but I do anyway because I trust this app. 
and you should too. One cool thing that I do understand and love using are the features that let me see the files, the apps, the folders that are taking up the most room on my Mac, as well as old dusty files that I might want to make, you know, gone. Clean My Mac X is one of the more expensive apps on this list so far, clocking in at $39.95 a year with options to purchase as a one-time payment with optional upgrades in the future, as well as additional licenses if you have more than one Mac. Now, please give me a minute to just talk about one of my absolute favorite apps as a writer, Scrivener. Scrivener is honestly the app I wish I had back when I was a college student doing all kinds of papers and things like that. The app was built for writers like novelists, screenplay writers, but it's honestly so flexible that I don't see why content writers like me can't make the most of it either. Scrivener works as a digital binder, helping you keep all sorts of files, text, research, notes, all these things for a project in one handy place. So whether you're writing a novel with a whole lot of world building or you're keeping research for a future nonfiction book that's in your drafts, you're pretty much covered. There are a ton of other features that make Scrivener so perfect that I can't possibly get into each and every single one here. But if you are a creative writer and want the best experience for writing, keeping notes, outlines, and all that stuff, then Scrivener will be your best friend. The best part about Scrivener is that it's available as a one-time purchase at $49. And I seriously, seriously would pay double that. I just freaking love this app. The last and final productivity app that I cannot live without on my Mac is Paste. I may have mentioned this before in a previous video, but I love Paste so much that it has to make it on this list too. For those who don't know, Paste is a smart clipboard app for your Mac, which means that it makes it so much easier to copy paste just about anything on your computer. Because it's a smart clipboard, you don't have to worry about copying one thing, forgetting to paste it, then accidentally copying another thing, then having to go back and copy the first thing and you know, all that confusing stuff. With Paste, you get a history of all the things that you've copied to your clipboard via text, paragraphs, images, emojis, and more. One of my favorite parts about Paste is the pin feature, which lets you keep folders of anything that you might want to keep handy. I personally use it to keep links of my blog posts and other things that I want handy for my blog, like YouTube descriptions, email templates, all that stuff. And Paste comes with a free 14-day trial and then is available either at a monthly or annual subscription but prices do depend on your location, so there is that. And that just about rounds up my list of six productivity apps for my Mac that I would buy over and over again. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to do the whole liking and subscribing thing, and be sure to hit the bell notification because I'll be doing way more productivity app videos very soon. And until then, you might want to see more productivity videos. So I recommend watching this one over here or checking out this playlist for endless tips and tricks and techniques to really get you productive.